guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very nerve-wracking video because I did some splurging and I picked up the Pat McGrath Labs Liquid Lust version everything first edition limited release liquid lipsticks. Now here is a whole bunch of stuff on the back and I was so excited to get this and then I watched my friend Kat's video uh, from Rented Fashion. I will link her channel up in the cards for you guys if you're interested in checking out her channel. Um, but she also got this same everything set and she did not really like it. Um, we were actually talking back and forth this weekend over Thanksgiving and she was like, did you open your site yet? And I was like, no, honestly, I've just been so crazy busy. I haven't had any time to play with this stuff. So I finally sat down and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's $125. Like if I hate it, um, what the heck am I going to do? Because I won't be able to return it. But Kat doesn't like liquid lipstick. So that's something to keep in mind. And I personally consider myself a connoisseur of liquid lipsticks. They are my favorite thing and I've never tried um, any of Pat McGrath's stuff that comes in like this packaging. So I think what I'm going to do is just suck it up and try this out. I'm going to maybe wear one of the colors on my lips and then I'm going to swatch everything else on my hands for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing me play with this, just keep watching. Okay, so I got my scissor. This is so nerve-wracking because, oh my gosh, this packaging. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen other people play with this yet, but uh, yeah. And Sephora didn't get the everything set. They got like two different sets. So I actually bought this on the Pat McGrath website and uh, seen a lot of people mess up when they open this. So I have like one of these things and uh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> it looks so pretty when you just like bust it open on a tray like this. So very, very cute. So here is the pile of products in front of me. You get um, two of these like lip pigments so this is the pots they come in this stuff is like so very well packaged and then some of it's like very cheaply packaged and I feel like a lot of people comment on her lip products as not being so well packaged specifically like the liquid lipsticks because they are not very like weighted whereas like her her eyeshadow palettes were so like grand and so fancy the packaging weighs like two pounds on its own and even her like lipsticks like her bullet lipsticks are very fancy packaging these ones feel like any other you know liquid lipstick packaging off the bat I'm already concerned because if you look at this one you can see there's clearly a line where it's already dried up so that's a little bit concerning to me I'm a little bit freaked out but you do get six shades and I feel like you know she did a good job of picking out like stuff that people would you know tend to wear on a daily basis kind of colors kind of give everyone a little bit of everything you also get this gloss um, it's a clear vinyl gloss so I'm gonna stop blabbering and let's get to trying some of the stuff out I think off the bat this is the color I think I'm gonna put on my lips and this is the shade what is this called possessed and I feel like this is definitely one a lot of people are going to gravitate towards now I'm not gonna use a lip liner or anything if you're using liquid lipsticks you don't usually need a lip liner so let's check this out. So the applicator is like a cute little like doe foot, but it has like a pointed tip. Mm. Okay, so very first impression, it is incredibly creamy. That went on so easily. Uh, there's like a really slight fragrance to it, but oh, I really like it. So let's see what happens when it dries down. And let me just give you a quick swatch here on my hand as well. This is again the shade Possessed. And it's like a perfect, you know, mauve -y 
shade. <laughs> Those have been so popular lately. And I'm going to swatch the rest of them on my hand because I don't really want to do lip swatches. Like it's going to get everywhere and I need to test these some more anyways. So this is the next shade. This is the lightest one in the bunch. And again, it's like a little bit lighter than the first shade. And this one is called Divine Nude. And I feel like this is a pretty wearable nude even with my skin tone because I'm quite a bit tan and I don't like really light nude shades because they just wash me out. Um, next kind of ordinary color I would say is this one. It's called Slay Omi Liquid Lipstick. <laughs> Interesting name. This one looks like a terracotta shade. Yeah, that's what I would call it. Like a brown terracotta shade. It's a very beautiful. I love colors like that. So I can definitely see myself wearing that. Now some of the less wearable shades. I hate like bright pink lipsticks. I don't really wear them. I think they're fun like in the summertime, you know, for a pop of color, but like on a daily basis. It's not something I wear. I should have probably shook this one up a little bit because it did come out um, a little bit separated and I think Kat had kind of commented about this shade in her video as well saying it was a little bit streaky. This is a beautiful red. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one. It's called Revelation Red. Especially with the holidays I'm always loving like red lipsticks and this is beautiful. It's like a hot red with tons of blue in it so love that. And then this last shade I don't think I have anything like it. It's called Nightshade and it's a very dark purple. Almost looks like it could be like a dark, dark. Yeah, it's like a gray purple, black almost looking shade. So I know for sure I don't have anything like that in my collection. So these are the six liquid lipsticks from Pat McGrath Swatch. And then I'm wearing one of the shades on my lips as well. So let's try and get a little bit creative. I know you're able to dust some of these on to your lips. So let's open up this glitter shade. Now this is so not me. I don't do this ever. And I don't see that these pigments look any more special than if you were gonna wear just like a regular glitter. But uh, let's just get some out of the sifter and I'm just gonna use this like random eyeshadow brush and just like tap some on on my lip so I need to be able to see it's a lot to do with one hand okay so you can see like a sh slight shimmer now this is definitely emphasizing like all of my lines on my lips. I guess it's not something I really pay attention to either though myself because it's not something I'm very really self-conscious about and maybe that'll change as I get older. But right now it's not one of my big concerns but I do feel like you can see like all the lines on my lips. And I'm really not into like metallic lipsticks so I just feel like I would even choose a metallic or like sitting here and like tying on glitter but I mean I don't think that's doing anything like you can barely see that so I can see it but it's not like some kind of fantastic glitter by any means so yeah let's go ahead and close that up and then I'm just gonna try the gloss over top because that's what you're supposed to do is use the gloss to kind of seal everything up so I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way and like squeeze some on to my fingertip here and then just like tat and on. This is very sticky so that's interesting. I don't know if I was expecting it to be sticky or just more so like soft and buttery so it would just like glide on. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, let me just use a... It's definitely not like an over-the-top gloss, but uh, it does definitely have like a glossy effect. As you guys can see now, it looks a lot more glossy, whereas before it was definitely very, very matte. Now, these shades are still in the process of drying down. Looks like the first two are definitely pretty dry, but the pink, the red, and the purple are still drying. So let's take a look here and see. Yeah, I don't know. I love the color on my lips, but you guys realize that I spent like way too much money on this. So I don't know that for the what I'm getting right now that this is worth the price tag. So you're paying $20 per liquid lipstick, which 
if you think about it, that's kind of the price of most liquid lipsticks on the market. So the other products are basically like you could consider extra and then that will kind of help you bite the bullet a little bit. But I just wanted to quickly like unbox this and kind of give you guys my first impressions. I don't think it's a horrible formula by any means. It's very comfortable. Um, as I'm wearing it right now, I can't foresee it like drying and like crusting up my lips. But if it does do something like that, I will definitely keep you guys informed. Um, either on my Instagram or in a future video. But overall, I like this color. I like these three colors for sure. These are a little bit different for me, but I, I can definitely see myself wearing the red. These two, I'm not 100% sure about, so that's like $40 kind of in the hole. But overall, I think it's a cool set. I'm glad I got to try it out. I don't feel like these are revolutionary by any means. I feel like you could just buy a pigment and do the same thing. Of course, some things aren't lip safe. So you like the FDA or whoever, whoever controls product and like what you put in your mouth, uh, sometimes they do have to disclose like not safe for your lips. I personally don't tend to follow all of that stuff much, but I know some people consider it very important. So I'm assuming these are gonna be lip safe if this is a lip set. But yeah, these are kind of a rip off. But like I said, it was 125, you divided by six. So technically you're paying the price of a liquid lipstick for those six. Yeah, so Not as impressed as I am by the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes, but if you go back and watch my video where I unboxed the eyeshadow palettes and did my first like swatch party with them, I wasn't very convinced at the time either. So I'm thinking I'm gonna play with these and see if I love them as time goes by. And I think that's probably gonna be Kat's experience too. She's probably gonna just have to keep trying them and especially if you don't like liquid lipsticks, that does make it a little bit tougher. So. Hopefully, yeah, this doesn't turn out to be a total waste of money, and I don't think it will, but I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, kind of gave you an idea of what these colors swatch like on a medium to tan skin tone, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.